Hi everyone, welcome to another week of Kinder Chat. I'm Christina from Sweet for Kindergarten and I am so happy you are here ready to learn all about phonemic awareness and how to teach it virtually. So if you have ever followed me, you know that phonemic awareness is one of the most important skills in kindergarten and it is one of the, my most favorite things to talk about. So while you're teaching virtually, you may be trying to squeeze so much instruction into a shorter amount of time, or maybe you have like all of this time and you're like trying to figure out what in the world that you're going to teach for all these hours. No matter what, phonemic awareness needs to be at a point in your day. Every single day, you need to be doing phonemic awareness. And the easiest way is to just do a quick warm up. It really only takes about five minutes to do this warm up, and you can do it by recording yourself or you can do it live with your students. So I'm gonna show you both ways, either how to record yourself or how to do it live with your students and give you tips for both to make it a smooth transition. So first I'll talk about how to record yourself because I know that some of you may not have, may only have a certain amount of time that you're actually teaching live. So if you only have a certain amount that you're actually teaching live, but you have that ability to send videos to your students, this would be something easy to do. It would only take about 15 to 20 minutes to record these videos and send them out to your students. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I stumbled over my words and this video is still on YouTube. So here is how you would do it if you were going to record it. So pretty much set your phone up or your computer screen and have it set to record. I'll just explain that we are going to learn about phonemic awareness today. This is the most important part of our day. So I want you to try and follow along with me. I'll help you out at first, but then I want you to try it. Are you ready to go? Okay. Um, the first part would be to do flashcards. So you could either hold up flashcards or I will show you at the end of the video how to use digital flashcards to do this with your students. So you could either have a separate video for that or you could have it at the beginning and then go to you actually doing the warm-ups with your students. So after you finish the flashcard practice, you are going to go into the different components. And so this one that I have in my TPT store just has three different skills that you're practicing each day. It's the same three skills all week. So that way your students can kind of get a grasp on it by the time Wednesday through Friday come along and they're able to do it mostly on their own. So the first one for this one is sound blending. So here's how I would do it to my own students. Okay, you're going to listen to the sounds that I say. Then you are going to repeat the sounds and blend it together like this. If I say sh, e, d, you're going to say sh, e, d. And then think, what word is it? Shed. So let's try it together. Ready? Ch, a, p. Chop. Good job. So when I'm holding my hand to my ear like this, that is signaling to the student that it's their turn to read. And when I'm blending the word, this is um, my sign for blending. So it's signaling to the student that it's time to read the word. But you could always ask, what's the word? And have them say it that way. So after I do a couple, I would usually model about two, um, then I would do two with the student, and then I would try to have the student do it on their own. And so next we would go into the next skill. So this one is phoneme isolation. So they are listening to a word and isolating the digraph of the word because this is um, something one of the weeks later in the year. So here's how I would explain it to the students. Okay, you are going to listen to the word. So if I say chew, I want you to listen to the word and repeat it. So say chew, chew, okay. Now listen closely. What digraph do you hear at the beginning of chew? Ch, good. The CH digraph says ch, like chew. 
Ready? Let's try one on our own. Think. What's the digraph? Good job. So just like that, you're giving them the chance to answer. Um, I always think about it like you're Dora the Explorer. <laughs> if you've ever watched that show, if you have younger siblings or kids that watch that show, but you're giving them the chance to answer. You're staring at the camera and putting your hand to your ear. You may feel silly, but just count to like three Mississippi and that should be enough time for the students to answer. And then the last one that we would do is, this one is expression fluency. So I am saying the sentence and the students are repeating it using the expression that I am doing it. So they're kind of mimicking me. And an idea to challenge is to ask your students what kind of punctuation that this ends with. So for example, I might say, okay, I'm going to say a sentence. I want you to listen to the sentence, listen to how I say the sentence, and repeat it just like me. Pretend like you're a parrot and I want you to repeat it just like me, okay? Ready? Do you like cheese? Great job repeating. Now let's think. Listen again. Do you like cheese? Hmm, what punctuation does this end with? A period, a question mark, or an exclamation? And then you could have the students answer that if your students are ready for that. First graders probably are ready now. Kindergartners, probably about halfway through the year, they could answer the punctuation. And so after that, it takes literally about four minutes to record. Um, I did a bunch of these in the spring. You can find them on my YouTube channel. They're all kind of mixed together so they don't go really in an order but you can kind of see how I did it, but pretty much I would do all of them at once. So it would take me about 20 minutes total. I would just go through it. If I stumbled over a word, I kept going. If I forgot where I was, I would just like figure out where I was. Okay, let's get back to it. Not a big deal. When you teach in your classroom, it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect on video either. Just keep going. Don't stop the video and try to redo it. It's gonna take you forever. So that is how you can do it if you are recording. If you're doing this live, it is going to be just like you would do it in the classroom. Um, my suggestion, you can either have mute all, so all your students are muted, but they're still doing it, or you can unmute all, where you are able to hear all of your students doing it, which is exactly what it would be like if you were in the classroom. So I would recommend maybe when you're doing it yourself the first couple times, do mute all. And then um, you can always have one or two students unmute to tell you the word or tell you the digraph that they heard. Um, but I think it's just kind of helpful to maybe do the mute all at first. And then as they're getting used to it and they're hearing it, then unmute and just let them, let them go. Um, so I hope that that was helpful for phonemic awareness. You can find this resource in my TPT store. I have both kindergarten and first grade for the year already done for you. So you don't have to try to be finding words for each different skill every single day. It takes five minutes. Trust me, you, this will make all the difference with your students, especially this year. There is only so much that you can do, and this piece is definitely an important key to this year. So I hope that this video was really helpful showing you the difference, the different ways that you can teach phonemic awareness virtually. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that way you get every single week of Kinder Chat in your email inbox so you can watch it on Sundays. And I will see you next week. Bye. Hey everybody, here is how you can use the digital flashcards that come with the kindergarten phonemic or first grade phonemic awareness daily warmups. So when you go here, you're gonna click on download now and it is a large file because there's a lot of digital flashcards. You just have to wait a minute and you're going to open it up And in here you will see a zip file 
which has all of the digital flashcards. So they are PowerPoint files. You just click on one. We'll do the letter flashcards. Um, there's also two options. So you can either do in order or mixed up scrambled order. Okay, and now you opened it. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to do slideshow and then play from start. So I'm actually recording this in Zoom right now. So you can see my thumbnail at the bottom and I would have the presentation here giving it to my students. I can either record it or I can do this live with them. So I would just click the arrow key and say, a says, ah, good job. Or the students might say, B says, B. And you can just go through the flashcards. It's on a big screen, so you don't have to worry about holding flashcards or anything. I hope this is super helpful for you all. It includes all of the flashcards that are included with the phonemic awareness, so that way you can do it online. If you're in the classroom, you can also do this on the big smart board so that way all of your students can see it.